And along with a number of first responders who traveled here to western New York from across the country, to your side's Nate Benson joins us live tonight from Engine 2 with more on why this trip was so important for so many of them to make. Nate? Scott, it was a very strong showing of support from firefighters across North America earlier today, uh, Friday afternoon for Jason Arno's funeral. And every firefighter I spoke to uh, after the funeral service said it was never an option not to come to Buffalo. The cadence of drums, the bellows from bagpipes. and the ringing of bells for the last call of Jason Arno. Firefighters from across North America stood outside St. Joseph Cathedral, snow falling gently on a somber day, holding the line for the Arno family. That's something that we take dear and uh, near to our hearts. For firefighters that call someplace else home, it was never a question whether or not to travel to Buffalo on a cold March day to stand for their fallen brother. You know, there's a thousand guys that were here, thousands of guys here, just supporting them, and they will support them for the, the rest of their, their lives. From Virginia. Doing our best to make sure we're staying in attention. We're, uh, we're holding the line for the family to see that we're there, we're respecting them, um, trying to keep our emotions in check as best as possible. In Baltimore. Alerts on our phone that was a May Day up here, and as soon as we heard that the, you know, Jason has perished, we started making plans to get up here. In Brantford, Ontario. Nobody hopes for this, but it, it's kind of comforting to know that if it does happen, your own family, friends, will, no matter where this happens, the same outpouring of support will happen. It was necessary to be in Buffalo, even if that meant being away from their own departments. Everyone coming together and supporting the family, supporting the, the brotherhood. It's, it, like I said, it just means something. It, it really, it, it uh, just makes you feel good about the fact that people appreciate what you do. A tradition firefighters hope each day they don't have to perform because that would mean a loss of life in the line of duty. Nonetheless, it is a tradition they will always carry on. That's what we took the oath for, is to help other people. It's, it's bigger than us. It's bigger than us. Now, many of those firefighters from across North America have already left Western New York to return to their home fire departments. And many of the Buffalo firefighters that they met up with at Riverworks after the funeral service are already back to work. Reporting live outside Engine 2, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.